Assalamu alaikum everyone. The topic for our presentation is Intel 80186 microprocessor. I am Muhammad Ishtiaq Ahmed along with my other group mates will be discussing on the features, the architecture, the application and the supremacy of Intel 80186. So 80186 was the enhanced version of Intel 8086. Therefore, it inherits all the basic features of 80186. For example, it is a 16-bit microprocessor, 20-bit address bus, 16-bit data bus, and has one megabyte of memory. But it has a 6 megahertz initial clock speed, while 8086 had it 5 megahertz. Now the question arises why it was introduced uh, 80186. Back in um, 1982, 80186 was intended to introduce as a microcontroller for embedded system purposes. To be precise, 80186 is a single chip microcontroller. So uh, compared to 8086, 80186 has some ex uh, extended features like refresh control units that actually refreshes the row addresses at interval programmed timers uh, 80186 has three programmable 16 bits timers the programmable dma unit programmable cs unit will be discussed in the block diagram portion and the clock generator 80186 has an internal clock generator that has 6 to 25 megahertz clock speed now i hand over the slide to my uh, next lab mate i am hasan zamil Apon. Now I will continue from the block diagram of 80186 microprocessor. Like 8086 microprocessor, 80186 has also bus interface unit and execution unit. Bus interface unit basically works as data transfer from memory to microprocessor or ports and vice versa. And execution unit does all the calculation and computational task. But unlike 8086 microprocessor, 80816 has three different functional units. The first one is programmable interrupt control unit, which arbitrates the internal and external interrupts and controls up to two external 8259A PIC. Here 8259A is programmable interrupt controller designed for 8086 and 8088 microprocessor. Then the second one is chip selection unit which is a built-in programmable memory and input-output decoder. Then the third one is programmable direct memory access unit. So it has some DMA channels. Each channel can transfer data between memory locations, between memory and input-output, or between input-output devices. Then in the next slide, we can see the internal in architecture of 80186 we can notice from the top left corner that it has one clock generator which is set internally in this architecture. But in case of 8086 microprocessor, the clock generator was set externally. Then in the next slide, we can see the pin configuration of 80186 microprocessor. We can see that the, it has 68 pin packages and top and bottom view of pin configuration has been shown here. So that's up from my part. Now I will hand over the later discussion to my next group mate. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I have a Khandukar Adil Morshed. So in my part, I'm going to discuss about the register organization and instructions of 80186. The register organization of 80186 is very much identical to its predecessor, the 8086. Like the four data registers, four segment registers, pointers and index registers, and different flag registers. Uh, in this slide, we can see the data register organization, the segment register, index registers, and the status and control registers. So in the next slide, uh, this is about the flag registers uh, uh, and the flag register organization. So basically flag register is a 16-bit register and in, in this slide, we can see, so there's the six status flags and the three control flags, summing up to total of nine flags in this 80186 processor. So now compared to the 8086, the 80186 has new 10 instructions. 
So which can we sum up to total of 126 instructions in the 80186. So again, in this new 10 instructions, so there's the instruction uh, assigned, this, this is IMAL, which was also present in the 8086. So question may arise, what's the new thing here? The new thing is have a, that is here IMAL means immediate multiplication, whereas the IMAL in the previous 8086 was for integer multiplication. So this immediate mode has been added to 80186 to increase the processing speed and overall capability. And this mode was a very successful and vital one. And this mode, which was also reintroduced and reappeared in the 80286 and the successor chips. Uh, hereby I conclude my discussion and I pass my baton to the next teammate. Thank you. I'm Ardhan Farhad. I'll be discussing about the applications of 80186, why it was discontinued, and the advantages of 80186 over 8086. The basic use of 80186 was in personal computers and in embedded circuitry. Download Magnum, Mindset, Siemens, these are just the names of those personal computers. Production of the 80186 was seized by Intel in 2007. Now there are certain reasons for the discontinuity of this microcontroller or so-called microprocessor. The hardware of 80186 was not actually compatible with the hardware used in IBM PC. So ultimately, 80286 was the successor of 8086. Also, another drawback was that the application of 80186 in DVD playback, set-top boxes, and other accessories was not economical. It was due to the fact that the 80186 couldn't function fully without the aid of a separate IC. In the next slide, it has been mentioned about the advantages of 80186 over 8086. The clock speed of 80186 is enhanced by 60%. The data processing rate is two times faster than 8086. It has additional 10 new instructions Clock generator is internal, but it was external in case of 8086. The internal clock generator reduces the component count in the system. Clock pulse duty cycle is 50%, whereas it was 33% in 8086. There are many other differences, but these are the few major ones that's worth mentioning. Hereby, we conclude our presentation on Intel's 80186.